Nick, were, were you surprised by how well the, the 49ers and how quickly they handled the, the quotes uh, once they came out from Colin Kaepernick? Yeah, they, they got a, a pretty quick response even last night after the initial report about him sitting had come out. And I I, thought, I agree with you guys. I thought the statement was 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 well done, pretty nuanced, kind of covered all the basis and, and, and was about what you what you would want from uh, if you were a fan or if you were the athlete. So, uh, yeah, you, probably a little bit of a surprise. You don't see a lot of professional sports teams handle themselves very well in that situation, let alone in short order like that. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was uh, a, maybe a pleasant surprise in, in today's landscape for sure. Nick, you know, one thing we've been hearing is actually Colin Kaepernick has been feeling this way for a while. And, you know, he's voiced his opinion on social media. I don't think they've gotten as much attention, his tweets or Instagrams or whatnot. So I guess what is your sense of how his thinking on this issue has evolved? And, and were you surprised that he chose this, like this point to voice it? Yeah, you know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I've I followed him. You know, I just I, I just switched over from the Rams to covering the Niners here within the last month. But I will say this: uh, my initial impression of him coming here wasn't very good. You know, just in past interactions that I'd that I'd had with him covering, uh, you know, covering another team in the NFC West division and, and things like that. But when I got here, my first couple of chances to interact with him, he was. He was very pleasant. I, I asked some of the other beat writers who've been around him a lot longer and know him better. I'm not going to pretend like I know him very well at this point, but uh, that know him better than I do said that he he seemed like he had kind of changed. He's a, he was a, he's more upbeat, more friendly on a, on a day to day basis, not kind of up and down like he'd been in recent years. And if you looked at his Twitter feed, a lot of it, like you mentioned, was you know, retweets and, and things like that that kind of uh, led up to this. But I don't know, and I think this is one of the questions that, that you want to ask him or I want to ask him when, when we get the chance to talk to him next is, you know, if there was any one thing that kind of led him to, okay, now's the time when I want to act. But I don't necessarily think it was a surprise that eventually he was going to reach this point if you kind of trace back the steps of, of what led us here.